In 1793, President Washington led a grand procession to the future site of the nation's new capital on the banks of the Potomac River in Maryland. Washington was a member of the Masonic Order, an ancient civic organization. Acting as both Grand Master of the Masons and President of the United States, he conducted a traditional Masonic ceremony to lay the cornerstone of the new building. Two years later, on July 4, 1795, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts laid the cornerstone for their own capital in Boston, the first state house constructed in the United States. Not to be outdone, they organized a similar procession and Masonic ceremony, but this one was led by Samuel Adams, Paul Revere, and William Scully. From the get-go, they planned it to be a big event, and it was. The uh, cornerstone itself was drawn in a wagon, uh, festooned with federal emblems and ribbons and, and other decorations. The Founding Fathers intended for these items to remain undisturbed, but history had other ideas. Sixty years later, on August 13, 1855, workmen making an enlargement to the State House discovered a few copper coins and a lead box, the original items laid by Adams and Revere. The construction schedule demanded that the cornerstone be replaced in just three days, so they had very little time to work with what they had found. They documented the items as best they could and treated some of the coins with acid and beeswax in a misguided attempt to clean them. The original objects and new objects were placed inside a strong brass box they had manufactured on short notice. The lid of the box was screwed down, the join was filled with pine rosin, and the whole thing was sealed with lead solder. The box was then set into a niche that had been carved into the cornerstone and covered with plaster. In a small, quiet ceremony on August 11th, Governor Henry Gardner and Masonic Grand Master Winslow Lewis reenacted the original 1795 Masonic ceremony and relayed the cornerstone and its artifacts. There they remained, but once again, not forever. Forever.